Hey guys, before we get started, I just want to let you know that I have a giveaway going on right now. Um, it'll be linked down below. It's in my last video that I uploaded, the Pat McGrath mascara review. Um, all the details will be there in that description box, so go check that out. That'll be on until March 5th. For today's video though, I have the new Milk Makeup Lip Colors. So these are 29 Canadian dollars or 24 US dollars, and you get four grams or 0.14 ounces of product. And just for comparison, in a MAC lipstick, you get three grams of product, so you get more in the milk ones. So on the Sephora app, it says it's a demi matte finish and you get like a really hydrating formula. So you have shea butter and coconut oil to moisturize, grapeseed oil and mango seed butter to calm redness and protect your lips. Never knew I needed that, but good to know. And it also has a bamboo derived blurring powder for a soft focus effect. So I believe these are actually like a redo. They had older lip colors, so they've changed the formula and the packaging. I'm a big fan of this all white metal packaging. It's just beautiful. I love a simple packaging. Like it's simple, but it's also really nice. And the lid here is actually magnetic, which is a nice little touch. So there are 10 shades available currently, and of those 10 shades, three of them are new from their older lip colors. I picked up two of the shades, both which just happened to be new. I didn't know that until afterwards. Um, so the first shade that I got is Deuces, which is a warm, rosy nude. And here is the swatch for that on my hand. And the next shade I got is Skills, which is a warm peachy nude, and there's the swatch of that. I'm also wearing Skills on my lips right now. Okay, first I'm gonna try on Deuces. You're supposed to be able to get full pigment in one swipe, but like, I'm not good at lipstick, so. I wouldn't call this a matte finish at all. I know it says it's demi matte, but like, what does that even mean really? Um, I would say it's a cream finish. It feels really creamy when I'm going on. Like the pigment is definitely effortless. You just lightly swipe it on and it's like full color. You don't have to press hard at all. You don't have to struggle with it. It just is there. And it feels really nice and hydrating. It actually feels like I'm just wearing a lip balm. like putting my lips together, it doesn't feel like it's drying down, which is what I love in a lipstick. I don't like lipsticks that dry down. They just get difficult to work with throughout the day. It's not a glossy color, but it does have that slight bit of shine. I think it's pretty flattering. Flattering and comfortable. The shade is just a little bit dark for my liking, but it's also not that bad. When I saw it in the tube, I thought it would be a little bit darker on my lips, but it turned out pretty nice. Okay, next up we have skills with a Z because we're hip and cool. This is more what I'm talking about. This is something I would wear like every day. Okay, this shade is really promising, but let me get a little bit closer here. It's really streaky and it's starting to break up and I've had it on for like a minute. It's just really not flattering. The formula is really comfortable though. Like it's the same as the other shade there. Um, definitely not a matte finish, but it is still hydrating and comfortable just the same as the other one. Yeah, this shade is a no-go for me. I was so excited for it. It's just really streaky. So I just wanna summarize my thoughts now. I really love the formula. It's really comfortable and it actually feels hydrating. Like there are so many lipstick formulas that say, oh, it's matte, but it's also hydrating. And it's just like, it's never hydrating. This, I guess it's not even really matte. It says it's demi matte and hydrating. I wouldn't even call it demi matte. I would call it like a, I don't know, but it's not really matte to me. There's a light shine there. It's not a gloss, but it's a light shine. It says that these are supposed to be like a soft blurred effect. Um, mentioned the bamboo blurring powder or whatever. It's supposed to give like a soft focus finish. 
and I just don't really see that. It just looks like a regular cream lipstick to me. Not a bad thing, it's just I wouldn't call it a soft focus finish. So yeah, I'm a big fan of the formula. I really like the shade Deuces. It um, is more flattering than I thought it would be. I saw it in the tube and I thought it was gonna be really dark, but it actually looks pretty good. Um, this shade Skills, however though, it doesn't look horrible on camera, but it looks kind of horrible in real life. And as I'm talking more, I'm noticing that it's getting worse and it's just separating more. And you can see my lips kind of poking through. It just looks really streaky and it makes my lips look really dry and crusty, even though it's not that at all. Like my lips actually feel really hydrated right now and they are really hydrated, but just the way it's separating, it makes it look nasty so yeah i would totally recommend these um maybe not this shade skill maybe just stay away from this shade as ugly as it looks it feels really hydrating and it's not that common that a lipstick actually says it's hydrating and then actually is hydrating well 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 uh yeah that's all i have for today's video thanks for watching um i'll have my giveaway info linked down below don't forget to check that out and i'll see you later bye